Hello guys, my name is Kiki and in this video I am going to show you a new project I have been working on the last couple of weeks and this is a 3-axis motorized camera slider. Let me show you a short montage and then let's get to the video. So I always wanted to have a motorized camera slider to make my videos better and to make cool time lapses. But the official versions are ridiculously expensive, around three, four hundred dollars. And then I decided that I will buy one, and this is how I ended up with this one. This project is fully open source. You can find all the 3D printed files everything in my github depository you can find the link in the description below and let me show you how it works so as i told it's three axes so one axis is that it's moving along this axis then it's rotating around this axis and tilting around this axis all the axes are powered by separate stepper motors there are three of them all together it's battery operated as you can see at the moment it's, it works with a with a drill battery i just plug it in and it works but you can also use a you can also use a dc power supply to power it you can use it with a small dslr camera or with a different holder you can mount a, a phone into it and then you can just replace here the camera it's held up with one screw we just replace it pull, put, a, put on this one at the moment it's a 600 millimeter long aluminum extrusion the motion is roughly limited to 45-50 cm in this version but you can just make it longer and then let me switch over to the overhead camera to show you the control surface so you can see here the electronic box there is a little OLED screen installed here which shows all the settings there is a rot rotary encoder where you can navigate within the menu with, with, between all the operating modes this button here is basically resetting the Arduino inside when you want to move the motors freely because as you can see now it's fixed because the, the, there is a holding current applied to the motor so now everything is fixed as soon as i press this button then 
the Arduino is basically turning off and you can move everything freely. And whenever you release, it will keep this position as original position and it will hold out the camera. Let's put it now out of the way. And let me show you the settings. There is the simplest mode is just sliding, it's just moving along around this axis. Then slide and rotate, it's then sliding around this axis and uh, rotating around this axis. And then slide, rotate and tilt, then be sliding around this axis, rotating around this axis and tilting the camera up and down. And the last one is object tracking, but this is still not ready. So this project is still on work in progress. So then let me show you, let's move all of them. Slide, rotate and tilt. Then move in the negative direction. This is the negative direction. Let's move it 150 millimeters. Rotation angle, let's rotate minus 70 degrees and then tilt angle let's lift up the camera 90 degrees and then how long it should take to do the the motion let's set it to 30 seconds you can set it up to one hour and then you can make really nice time lapses as soon as i press the button it starts moving And then it finished and then you just press the button take care to to keep the camera in your hands otherwise it would just fall off and then just slide and rotate we will move again mine 150 millimeters rotation angle now 60 degrees and in 10 seconds and then it's moving significantly faster it's really silent especially over 20 seconds you can just barely hear that it's moving it, it works really well and as i told i can check just remove this screw here at the bottom and then i remove the camera and then i can install a into this hole telephone mount there is this silicone something which is holding your phone perfectly tight so basically that's all guys there will be another video where i show the detailed build process and i will explain all the electronics everything you can find all the 3D printed files, the schematics for the electronics and all the parts you need to build one of these in the description below. I will put a link to my GitHub repository. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If yes, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and I hope I see you next time. Bye.